So when I think about being the change, it's about moving toward the vision of the world that I want my children to grow up in. The workplace could be uh, an agent or an equalizer when it comes to, to human rights. I feel valued at C.H. Robinson because I know I have a team that's going to have my back. Because of them, I have the opportunity now to let my voice be heard. What I'm doing to be the change is to support my daughter's friends. Uh, she has friends that have not come out to their parents yet. They are scared to have that conversation. So my home is a safe place. And I think about our youth especially and how difficult adults can make their lives due to fear or ignorance about what they're going through. So I think it's up to us. I take that very seriously as an ally. I have spoken up and will speak up. So that's something that isn't always easy, but um, your friends notice it. It doesn't change who a person is, you know, whether they identify as lesbian or bisexual or pansexual or whatever, um, and how much also that can mean so much to them to have you acknowledge that portion of themselves. When uh, he finally came out, uh, it wasn't as much about him, you know, and the way he identified as much as it was about, oh my God, you've been you've been carrying this weight for uh, so long. I would love uh, nothing more for that not to be an issue for him or or anyone else. That moment of just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I can't have the life that a lot of people dream of, which is, you know, getting married and having kids and, and all that. And um, that is something that I wanted growing up and, and was entirely sure how I was going to do that in my first few years of coming out. But eventually, as I became more comfortable in my own skin and, and in my identity and upon meeting Andy, um, it very much solidified, I'm going to get to have all those things that I wanted. I've always been the odd person out. Even in pride groups, I'm usually the only black person or the black, the only black masculine identifying person. So even still, I'm an outcast. And this is why I'm here, to let people like me know that you don't have to subject to the stereotype. You can go out there and you can prove people wrong and you can do the things that you want to do. I am an example of that. My breakthrough moment was learning to set aside my judgments, preconceived notions that I had about people. Instead, to accept what I was hearing and to learn to, to love it. There's just so many great fun ways to learn about uh, Pride and, and, and this this community. You can join the, the Pride ERG, which has been a great education for me. You can strive to learn the differences between sexual uh, orientation and, and gender. Nobody's gonna hate you for trying to better yourself so and become more aware. And maybe it'll be some of those folks first time knowing somebody that's gay that works at C.H. Robinson. And if I'm that person that introduces this world to them, awesome. I'm excited about that opportunity and, and those moments that we'll have together. Leadership is about ensuring an incredible working environment, a great working uh, and environment for for everyone, and I think that means we need to have an ongoing dialogue about inclusive uh, values and, and how we strive to be better at achieving them. And I feel like C.A. Robinson has really grasped that, that allowing diverse people to be in the workplace as they are is the best way to have a good flowing workplace, and that has been really hopeful for me. We'll all be more successful when we all feel welcomed and valued and that we belong. Be kind to people. Um, put yourself in other people's shoes. Show empathy. Being a good person is more than just a month. It's more than a day. Celebrating being who we are, that should never be a month. That should be a lifetime. I will be the change. I will be the change. I will be the change. I will be the change.